for your games. Yeah, getting ready to play Deck of Wonders, episode two. As a recap, what happened last time is I defeated Cullen with 10 health remaining. Actually, I really didn't truly because I cheated because I wasn't paying attention to the little line that was not emphasized really at all. And I was reading it real time. But the villains actually come in ready. So Cullen might have got me last time, but I'm not going to worry about it. We're just going to keep going. But from now on, villains attack as soon as you put them out that turn. No summoning sickness. All right. And then when we open the legacy pack, defeating Cullen with 10 or more health remaining, we read a little story in here and Cullen got added some more powerful spells for himself. We'll mix those into the deck. And then as a quick rules refresher, um, every turn you draw, draw one for yourself, draw one for the villain, which is Cullen right now. And you must order your minions from highest priority to lowest. But the key to that is to get like a blocker with high priority in front of the good attacker with maybe low health but high priority and do it like that. And the benefit you get as the player is you get to organize the villains as they come out. So they attack mindlessly, but they will not attack one of my minions that does not that they won't defeat in a turn. So they got to be able to beat the villain in that turn or else they won't attack it. They'll attack me as the player. And we have 30 life each. And I think that's about it that that we got to remember. So a few more shuffles and we'll get into it. Oh, man, I... Over the hell tracker in there somehow. Got the same back too. That's not cool. I guess if we see something else, we'll see it. And make sure there's no special rules on Cullen. Uh, so important, both players and Cullen start at 20 health instead of 30. Fools, I'll do it myself. If you have to reshuffle the Cullen reshuffle then Cullen gains two strength for the rest of the game he'll deal two damage to any minion that attacks him and two damage to the player at the end of the villain turn deal two damage to any minion that attacks him okay okay cool and then legacy packs place the Cullen's tantrum and unexpected allies and Cullen's faded form legacy packs in the rules area I really don't know what's the point of that but anyway I'm not doing it the same stupid All right, ready to go. All right, so we start by I get, I get, begin the game by drawing four cards from the draw pile in my hand. You may mulligan once by discarding all four and drawing four new hands from the draw pile. Not bottom deck, but, but discard. All right, we got a Pixie Mesmerist, no cost, four priority, two health though, one attack. Reinforce them. Zero priority. Goes at the back. No, no, no. Four priority, zero attack. So great blocker with four health. A lightning strike. Um, cost discard one. Destroy a minion with two or less base health. And then play one. Play, play effect, draw one. And then a poison toad. Two priority, one health, one attack. And cost discard one poison destroy a destroy any minion this deals damage to. All right, I'll keep that hand, and then we'll go ahead and draw for the villain Cullen. Okay, so Cullen draws cards one at a time. So Cullen gets okay, he gets a poison toad. So we'll play that right out, right out there for him, which is a we'll put it on the evil side where the text is upside down. So poison, destroy any minion this minion deals damage to. Okay, same thing. Poison, destroy any minion this minion deals damage to. And it's a 1-1. Alright, so you 
No, I take the first turn. What am I talking about? Okay, begin the game by drawing four. You may then play out your turn per player turn rules. Once you end your first turn, the villain plays and draws three cards. All right, my bad. Okay, yeah. Going too fast. Put that right there, the rules. All right, so, so me... I have a big blocker with four priority. I should probably put that out. And then I have Mesmerist with with one attack, two health. Or I could put the Poison Toad right out. Okay, cost discard one, destroy a minion with... I'm not going to do that, even though, though I know they have Poison Toad. But what I'll do is I'll play these two freebies out. Play the two freebies out. And then we're only on 20 health right now. So 23, 22, 21, 20, and another 20. All right, Cullen is just 20 health, not 30. All right, and I can discard one to play the other, but I have no minions to destroy right now, and I could discard that. Destroy any minion this minion deals damage to. And let's I remember I remember like if you get four minions on the field, there's board wipes for four minions. So we won't even worry about it. We'll just go like this. My guys intertaps. Now it's the villain turn. They draw poison toad, comes right into play, poison, destroy any minion this minion deals damage to. They get to play to the leftmost as well. They come right in attacking. They're gonna they're gonna attack the guy with the highest priority. Which would happen to be my reinforced dam. That sucks. Alright, so. Yeah, I actually played that very much wrong. So see, I should have put this out knowing that the poison toad was there. But anyway, alright, so. You poison me. And you take no damage because I counterattack with no damage because that's a zero. Yeah, that was quite stupid of me. Alright, but then you tap. You come in attacking, then you tap. And then goes to the discard pile. Kind of adjust this. Yeah, a little better. All right, and then it slides over, and okay, villain draws card two. Another poison toad come in swinging. Comes out dealing one damage to me. I come out dealing, and it can destroy me. Yeah, because it has poison, it can destroy it. So. We trade. I deal one damage back to them. We both die. Villain card three. Earth shield. Place onto a villain minion. Draw one. The first time that minion takes damage, make that damage zero and discard this card. All right. It's getting real now. It's getting very real. All right. So place onto villain minion. Draw one. Okay. They got equipment and all kind of crap. Earth shield. It's a mess. All right. Then they draw one. And then they have Force Troll. Play, destroy one other villain minion. Okay, yeah. Okay, but it's a 5-3. That's it's kind of terrifying. All right, play, destroy one other villain minion. And then what does this Earth Shield do? The first time a minion would take damage. That's where you need the fact. But it doesn't take damage. It gets destroyed. So instead of consult... Well, I'm going to consult the fact. Because it says damage. It says destroy not take damage not necessarily i mean not a fact in there so not necessarily addressed in this fact so it says destroy i'll go ahead and destroy it even though it has the earth shield the first time this minion takes damage it didn't take damage it got destroyed so bye bye poison toad i like it i like it all right and then they come in swinging on me for a Crazy five, knocking me down to 15, you son of a gun. All right, 20, going to 15. 17, 17. yeah, these spin downs, D30s. All right, 15 to 20. All right, their turn is finally over, thankfully. Ready at the end of their turn. I draw. I have a hand of two, but I draw one. Okay, Pixie Cavalry. 
Yep, I gotta put some damage on that guy. He has three. So, destroy your minion with two or less base health. You have three, can't do that. I put the Poison Toad out there, though. It's good. All right, so Poison Toad has two priority, and so does Pixie Cavalry. But Poison Toad does kill the Forest Troll with poison. So I'll put the Poison Toad out there first, two priority. And then the cost of that is discarding one, so... And then Poison Toad, yeah, so I got to discard one. I'll discard... I'll play it safe, I'll discard the Pixie Cavalry. Yo. And then hold this in hand. Alright, and then... I'm not ready, so I'll end the turn. Ready up. Villain's turn. Free Ant Shepherd. A they have no priority, so I place them. Man, did it say that I placed them where I want to place them? Okay, let's uh read that again. Uh villain turn. Battle lines. Villains. Order the ready. Order the villains ready minions from left to right in any order you choose. Okay, keep in mind, villain minions will only consider... Okay, so order the villain ready minions from left to right in any order you choose. Okay, okay. They have no priority, so I place them how, how I want to place them. Okay. Um. I So I'd rather kill the five attacker than kill the three attacker, so I'll put that behind. Alright. Or does it even matter? No, they attack from left to right, so I place them where I want to. All right, anyway, uh, and then they're going to swing. So they swing into my guy. Luckily, my guy has poison. We kill each other. And then and then this guy comes in ready, smacks me for three. Three right there. I'll take, taking me down to 12, 15, 12 right there. All right, looking kind of bleak for you, boy. All right, you ready at end of turn? I draw one. Baited trap, discard one, destroy a minion. Yep, I've got no minions in hand, so that sounds like a good... Ugh. Yeah, that has three health, so... All right, yeah, but I will go ahead and do it. Just uh, cost, discard one, discard this card, destroy a minion. Do that. Destroy this guy. My turn's over, got no cards in hand. Cullen's turn. They play Gust of Wind. Destroy all player minions with one base health. Perfect, because I don't have any minions. That's a bet. Discard that. My turn. Gust of Wind, destroy all minions. I can maintain a hand since I'm the player with the big smarts. And uh, yeah, destroy all minions with one base health on both sides. Yep, keep that in hand. And Earth Shield for the opponent. I'm so glad you don't have any minions to put this on. Place onto a villain minion. There is not one, but they draw one though. The first time that minion takes damage, make that damage go to zero. All right, perfect. Place onto a villain to a villain minion, so it fizzles. It just gets discarded, but they do draw one though. All right, uh, cost discard one. They don't have one to discard, so I guess it fizzles. Destroy a minion with two or less base health. No minions out here, but play one. They didn't pay the cost, so I take it that it just fizzles. They discard one. Yeah, they have nothing to discard, so yeah. All right, back on me. Draw a card. I draw a lightning strike. Destroy a minion with two or less base health. Works for me. Now their turn. Yep, their turn. Gorilla Warfare. If there are four or more player minions in play, then destroy all player minions. So logic would dictate that. Logic would dictate that I never play more than four, three, more than three minions. So, all right, discard that one. My turn. Pixie Mesmerist, one with four priority. Play you out. Why not? Yeah, I'll play you out. Why not? Uh, comes in tapped. Ready at the end of my turn. And villain turn. Lightning strike. Destroy the highest player, the the highest priority player minion. Of course, it dies. My turn. The hungry wolf. Uh, a three one with three priority. I'll play you. Ready at the end of my turn. Villain turn. If there are four more player minions in play, then destroy them. 
Oh man, this was supposed to draw a card the last time. But you gotta read the whole card. That's my bad. Um we're just gonna Well we can backtrack it. Can we backtrack it? I don't know. We're just gonna gloss over it. But they do draw one though. That's my bad. Alright, they play a tree ant shepherd. Yep, three attack. Runs right into my three one. We trade. Three attack going onto three health. Three attack going onto my one health. We'll trade. You gotta remember, read the whole card before you discard. Alright, uh, that was their turn. My turn now. Play a uh, baited trap. Cost discard one, destroy a minion. I'll add that to hand. Villain turn. Reinforce them. They'll play that. And then taunt, you must destroy this minion before attacking any minion or villain without taunt. Okay, taunt. Right? My turn. Baited trap. Cost one, destroy a minion. Mm, I have two of them in hand. That has four health. I'll just keep it in my hand since that has no attack. Alright, villain. No, 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 no. Yeah, villain turn. They play a hungry wolf. Three attack, one health. Oh, yeah, like this would have swung, but it has no attack, though. So, now this swings on me for three. I'll take three damage. Taking me down to nine. Yeah, but ain't so easy now, is it? Ain't so easy at all. I've done no damage to this guy. All right, my turn. Draw. Okay, big 5-3. Discard 2. I can do that. Okay, I can just uh, destroy all minions with base health 1 on both sides. I could do that. Or... Yeah, that's the move. I'll do that. Destroy all minions with 1 base health on both sides. The Hungry Wolf has 1 health. So I'll destroy it. Nice. This one has four zero. Um can play out my forest troll. It's a five three with three priority, but I gotta discard two cards to do so. Which I'll go ahead and do. Yeah, let's get rid of these. Yeah, let's get rid of these. Play the forest troll. Discard two. And my guy comes in tapped and I'll pass turn to the villain. Leaving me with one card in hand. Villain's turn. Regeneration. If a minion is on top of the discard, move it into play exhausted. Do not resolve its card text. Luckily for me, there's a lightning strike spell on the top. Not a minion. So I lucked out on that one. But they still do draw one though anyway. And just for... Just for reference or whatever, it doesn't say draw one on my side, on the player's side. But anyway, they draw one. And then they get another reinforced dam. An angry beaver. Uh, man, what are them cats' names? I forgot them cats' names. The angry beavers. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so, the, so they would attack, but they have no attack, though. So they won't attack. All right, my turn. I get to wreak some havoc on this one. All right, Tree Ant Shepherd is a 3-3-3, so I can put it in front or behind of the, the Forest Troll as long as they're three priority. Um, hmm. Cost, discard one, play, draw one. Uh, I kind of want to keep my baited trap out there. But I can't play around because... I have no damage on them. They have nine damage on me. So I will discard one, play the tree and shepherd. And then upon play, I get to draw a card. Drew a, okay, this is a culling card, but I get to deal five damage to the player. Draw one. Ah, both sides. It sucks for me. Yeah, the culling card sucks for me on both sides. Deal five damage to the player, even on my side. Deal five damage to the player. Draw one. You son of a freaking gun. All right, deal five damage. Draw one. Down to four. Man, I'm about out of there, man. I need some heal cards. Four, draw one. Ah, you son of a freaking biscuit. 
All right, forest fire, deal five damage to the player, draw one. All right, I'm out of there. Negative one. But let me read these these rules on this tantrum thing. See if I'm supposed to really have 20 health or 30. Okay, Cullen's tantrum. Burst of flames, roar, you heat the you hear the heat from the B1, B2, B3. This is just story. And then open this pack, and then you must defeat Cullen with 10 or more health remaining. And then the other two scenarios for Cullen are Cullen has open this pack once you meet. I uh, have two forest trolls ready on the player side. I got one forest troll, okay. Okay, I'll probably get some more buffed up cards once I have the two four. Okay, that's why you keep the packs in front of you in the rules area. Okay, makes sense now. Okay, have two forest trolls ready on the player side at the same time. Never got that. And then defeat Cullen while using cards from both the Cullen's Tantrum and Unexpected Allies. Okay, so now my mission becomes to get two forest trolls out at the same time. Should I run it back or should I cut the video now? Let's run it back one more time. All right. So, yeah. So, the mission is really to just get the two Force Trolls out. Then, then I can upgrade, get this upgrade pack, which may actually add Cullen some more cards, but it might just upgrade me, though. I won't know until I open it. All right. Put these back in here. Really and truly, I really didn't even defeat Cullen the first time, but but we'll just act like I really did. Round two, a fight. Hotter than giraffe in here. So let's start off. All right. Suffle them up. One more suffle. Care to cut, sir? Don't mind if I do. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. Put me back on 20. I'm going back in, coach. I'm going back in. Right. One, two, three, four for me. Do I, do I mulligan? Okay. Let me see. Read these rules again. Both the player and Cullen start at 20 health instead of 30. Fools, I'll do it myself. If you have to reshuffle, then Cullen gains two strength. For the rest of the game, he'll deal two damage to any minion that attacks him and two damage to the player at the end of the villain turn. Wow, that is harsh. And, and Legacy Packs place the Cullen's Tantrum and Unexpected Allies and Cullen's Faded Form in the Wolves area. All right, yeah. Yeah. All right, so stop. Open the packs only once you meet the following requirements. I guess mid-game you can open the pack. All right, four cards in hand, Regeneration, Gust of Wind, Lightning Strike, and Forest Fire. Yeah, I'm dang sure not putting this in my, fir in my first hand, so I'll discard this hand. Discard that hand, draw four. All right, so, that, so I guess that's a good way to get rid of those, uh, those villain upgrades. Cards. All right, cool. I guess I got to rock with this hand. I guess you can only mulligan once, I think it says. Alright, so my turn. I get to play out my turn. Discard one, destroy a minion. If a minion is on top of the discard, move it into play exhausted. Don't resolve its card text. If a minion is on top of the discard, move it into play exhausted. Okay. Play, draw one. Cost, discard one, destroy a minion with two or less base health. Draw one. Alright, let's play the... No Miss Servant, 1-1 one, one with one priority, draw one, play a fix. Let's play the Reinforced Dam, zero cost, zero attack, four health, four priority, goes ahead of the No Miss Servant. 
And then I'll end my turn. Yeah, in my turn. Villain turn. They play a gnome is servant. They play this, they draw one. If the villain has two or more minions in play, draw two. Luckily, they didn't hit that. Very luckily, they didn't. All right. So. Yeah, they don't play an attack. They just draw their three cards and then they attack once it's. Yeah. All right. Lightning strike. Cost. Discard one. Destroy a minion with two or less. No, that's my side. De destroy the highest priority player minion. Yep. All right, bye bye. Reinforce them. Yep. Hate to see you go. All right, and then card three for them. They play baited trap. Destroy the lowest priority player minion. Bye bye, Nomi servant. Hate to see you go. And then there were three cards. Then they swing in for one attack. Go down to nineteen. They ready? I draw. All right, Force Fire, deal five damage to the player, draw one. Deal five, 19, down to 14, 18, 17, okay, 15, I colored the 14. All right, draw one. All right, Force Troll, discard two, don't mind if I do. Destroy your minion, destroy your minion with two health or less, draw one. Uh, I gotta keep you in hand just in case if I can get the forest troll back with the regeneration. The whole point of the thing right now is to get two forest trolls out. So if a minion is on top of the discard move, I can't can't discard that one. Destroy a minion. You know I do better just saving this for that poison poison guy. So maybe the best course of action is just pass turn and let you do what you do. I think that's what I'll do. All right, pass turn, villain turn, play, draw one, pixie cavalry, they'll play that, two, three, they all swing on me for one, two, four, I'll take four down to ten, man, making me regret not playing the tree ant now. All right, my turn. Draw. Gust of wind, destroy all minions with one base health on both sides. I like, I like. All right, play that. Three health, one health, one health. Bye bye, gnomish servants. And then I can keep playing stuff as long as I want. And this is a two, three, two, three. Uh. Discard one, destroy a minion. Destroy the highest. Whoa. Uh, discard one. Destroy a minion with two or less base health. That has three. If the minion on top, no. But but it does have a draw one, though. Hmm. And damage in this game is not persistent between rounds. Hmm. Um... Discard two. Yeah, like if we're gonna crap or get off the pot, I guess. Nah, you know what we'll do? We'll. Yeah, I don't know. All right, we'll. Lightning strike, destroy a minion with two. No, we can't do that. That's three health. Discard one, destroy a minion. Man, stuck at 10 health. Do I want him to just get two, two more attack off on me? Nah, I can't do that. All right, so plan you in. Got to discard two, though. We'll just save this to dredge this back. That's what we'll do. All right. You come in tapped. And end of my turn. Villain turn. 
if a minion is on top, they put it in the play or whatever, but they don't, but they do draw one. Okay, they'll play out the reinforced dam with taunt, so I gotta attack the dam before I attack anything else. You must destroy the dam before attacking another villain or the minion. Alright, so cool. Um, they can't destroy my guy, so they're not gonna even try. Yeah, what do they do if they can't attack? They think they attack the player if they can't. Villains will never target a player minion that it that is not currently highest priority. Villains always attack one at a time from left to right, but remember you get to set the order during battle lines. Villain minions never target a player minion that is not currently highest priority. And then, and then villain minions never target a player minion. They won't collectively destroy that turn. They'll target the player instead. Alright, so there's just no regular blocking in the game. So I'll just have to be forced to take two damage. Which doesn't seem thematically correct. But is what it is. Oh man, I thought the eight was... The eight is not the eight isn't adjacent either on these spin downs. Well, it kind of is. It's at a point. All right, eight down to eight, and then this has no no attack power. All right, I'll draw. Get to do some damage this turn. All right, drew a poison toad. That's perfect. Poison toad, play you. No, I I won't play you now because I have to discard for it. But I will swing on the taunting reinforced dam. I deal five damage to it, thereby knocking it out. It deals no damage to me, so it gets discarded. And then I have no more minions that I wanna play, so I'll pass turn. And villain turn. They have Poison Toad. Hate to see you play that. All right, they're... They can attack. You can't attack the Force Troll. Man, I hate this. Um, yeah, so as soon as that comes out, I got to deal with it, but hey. All right, anyway. Um, okay, so the Battle Lines thing, I guess um, it can attack. They attack left to right, right? Villains attack one after the other. Okay, already villain minions will attack one at a time in order from left to right. But the choose target phase determines who they will attack. Player turn. Yeah. Alright, so you can't... But then you would still... Yeah, I mean, it's just like I can't block, so I am forced to take two damage. Taking me to six. And then freaking Toad takes me out, and then I take the Toad out. That's horrible. I don't see how that's fair. All right, and then, all right, they're done. Well, yeah, because that already did its, that already had its chance to attack. Going from left to right. All right, now my turn. Draw the stupid cavalry. Th I guess throw you out there since you're free. Ugh. Nah. Put you out. I could recur a toad. Well, actually, you know, I don't have to put this on the top. I can put my forest troll on top and then just dredge you. All right, so if a minion is on top of the discard, move it into play exhausted. Don't regret all of his card text. All right, I'll do that. Perfect. That's why I was saving that the whole time. All right, and then play a freebie, maybe. Three and two. Or I could put the poison toad out. Yeah, that's what I will do. All right, put the po uh, uh, so discard this to put the poison toad out. And then pass turn, since I have so many signals, ready. Villain draws. Drew another, okay, drew another Pixie Cavalry. Okay, this one has to attack my highest priority. So 
it can't defeat it. So it goes past the player into the life. Man, let's get this clear though. Okay, choose target. Already villain minions will attack one at a time in order from left to right. But the choose target phase determines who they will attack. Okay, battle lines. Where's the choose target phase? Okay, this is choose target phase. Okay. Okay, villain minions will target the highest priority leftmost player minion if their collective attack will deal enough damage to destroy that minion. Oh, you actually do have two damage and two damage. Okay. If their collective attacks will not deal enough damage to destroy the leftmost player minion, or or if there are no more player minions, they target the player. Okay, if. All right, I'm going to actually go up two health because that last time, there's no blocking, but if, that's an if. Okay, so if their collective attacks will not deal enough damage to destroy the level most player minion, or if there are no more player minions, they target the player instead. If. Okay. All right, I think we only messed up on that once. So it's like if they can't so like naturally if they can't get through the defender then they won't be able to attack the player naturally all right but what they'll do is they'll put two damage on man you know what since i'm thinking about it now i'm putting a poison toad i'm kind of i'm kind of cheating but but i'm gonna stop cheating once i really get the rules all right but i'm gonna put the poison toad at the poison toad yeah you can kill the poison toad so you'll kill the po oh but the priority, my bad, priority, three priority, two priority. All right, so you'll attack, put two damage on my force toad, force troll. Then this other one will come back and put, then I'll deal five damage to it, knock it out. Then I have two damage on me. Then this one will come through, hit me for two. Then now I'm at four damage, which is enough to knock him out. And I deal five damage to the Pixie Cavalry. We both die. And I'll put this one. You know, I'm going to just play crazy and put the Forest Troll on top. Just in case if I get that Dredge card back. And then that's their turn. And now it's my turn. <sighs> Forest Fire. Deal five damage to me. Draw one. I think that's the last one. There's only three, so... Three damage left. Three health left. Draw one. All right. Discard one. Destroy a minion with base two or less. Only card I have. BRB. Back for the villain turn. Gorilla Warfare. Four or more player minions in play. Destroy them all. De destroy all player minions. Draw one. Tree and Shepherd. Three, three. Reds. All right, they come through and they swing. We trade because poisonous. And their turn's over. My time is now. Their time is up. My time is now. Their time is up. My time is now. One, four, two. Uh, all right. Uh, Uh, destroy minion with two or less base health. Yeah, I couldn't have did that anyway. Um, yeah, better play you out as a form of blocker. Pass turn. Ready. I mean, yeah, ready for the villain turn. Earth shield. Luckily, they don't have a villain minion, but they do draw one. Yeah, but they still draw one, though. Reinforce them. And with Taunt, 0-4. Luckily, they have no attack power. I'll draw my turn. Got myself a reinforced them. And then, destroy a minion with two less base health. No, I can't do that. But I'll play you in the top priority spot. Yeah. So, I could put the Pixie in front of the reinforced dam. Or which way is better? I'm thinking put the blocker in front. I'll see over time. And then villain turn. Oh, um, I could swing, but this has no power. 
I'm sure the game is gonna add on weapons as equipment too. But all right, um, uh, villain turn. They play a dredge. Luckily, regeneration. Luckily, they don't. Luckily, there's not a minion on top. And they draw one. Hey, get a hungry wolf, which is a three-one. And lucky for me, they have no attack power there. They can swing for three at my leftmost. Good thing I put that there. And then they swing for three. Luckily, I have four health, so they'll do three damage. They got to end their turn. Then turn ends. I heal all my damage up. And then my turn. Okay, Gust of Wind. Destroy all minions with one base health on both sides. That has one base health, so lucky for me, I can Gust of Wind this. Get rid of that Hungry Wolf, not having to deal with it. And I have no one health, guys, so I'll draw. Oh, yeah, that was my draw. But I have this card, destroy minion with two or less base health. All right, but what I can do is this can't swing. I got to swing on that. That has way too much health. It has time, so I'll just pass turn. The villain turn. Uh, yeah, same gust of wind. Destroy all player minions with one base health. They have none. No nope. draw one, luckily. Draw turn for me. I get a hungry wolf. 3 1 comes in tapped. Uh, nothing I can do with that blocker out there, so I'll pass turn. They have a tree ant shepherd. 3 3 comes in ready. Uh, yeah, it has taunt, so it doesn't really matter where it's at in the battle line. They swing on my highest priority, which is the. Damn, which they can't penetrate the four defense. I'll pass turn. They'll pass turn. I'll draw for turn. Hungry Wolf for me. No cost. Destroy a minion with two or less base health. They have none. But. Yeah, and again. Already villain minions attack one at a time in order from left to right. But the choose target phase determines who they will attack. Villain minions will target the highest priority left most if their collective attacks deal enough damage to destroy their minion. If their collective attacks will not deal enough damage to destroy the leftmost minion player minion. Or if there are no more player minions then they target. If no more blockers then they attack the player. All right, so I might as well. Oh, no. I don't want to play another guy because I know that they there's that card out there. If I have four or more attackers, then they'll come through and kill me. So what I'll do is I'll... That one... Oh, yeah, that was out last turn. So what I'll do is I'll... I can attack in any order. But the villains, they attack from left to right. So I'll put... Three damage on their blocker. Put one damage on their blocker since I have to hit it first with taunt. And then that goes back and it deals no damage back naturally. And this can't attack, so my turn is over. Nice. Villain to turn. They draw a poison toad. Destroy any minion this minion deals damage to. Which is no fair. All right. Put that out. Three damage does not destroy my guy. So, yeah, good thing that that's on the left. Because if I'll put this on the right, on the left, then after the toad destroys my reinforced dam, then this could attack as well. But I'm going to keep that here in the battle line. So it has no valid attack right now since it can't kill that. And then the poison toad does kill it, though. So that sucks. All right, so we'll trade. No, no, no. It doesn't trade. That stays out because this has no attack power. Which if I would have known that would have came out, I would have put the Pixie Mesmerist in this place. But no, I wouldn't have because that would have killed it. All right. But anyway, um, yeah. So that kills me. That stays alive. That's already had this a chance to attack. And then you're done. And then I'll draw my turn. Draw for my turn. Um... All right, 
discard one, destroy a minion with two or less base health. I will do that. I get rid of Pixie Mesmerist. Discard one, destroy a minion with two or less base health. Do that. Love to see you go. And then play, draw one. Pixie Mesmerist again. And I'll put the Hungry Wolf out there. Taps. Uh, so I can attack in any order I want to. So I'll trade with this Tree Ant Shepherd. We'll trade three on three and three on one. And then I can come through with one damage to the enemy. Finally, finally making a little headway. Not really. 19 to three. Ready. Villain turn. They play the Tree Ant Shepherd again. 3-3. Three, three. They come through and decimate my Pixie Mesmerist. I have, yeah, I do one damage to it. Then they're all done attacking. They pass turn. My turn. Baited Trap. Cough. Discard one. Destroy a minion. Rather than trading, I will do that. So I'll discard one, discard this one, destroy a minion, destroy the tree in it. And then I'll come back through for three. Takes them down to 16. 16, not spin down. All right, now villain turn. Tree and shepherd. Now. They come through and we trade since they have haste. We trade. Three on three, three on one, both die. My turn. Earth shield, I could have used you a minute ago. All right, their turn. They get earth shield. Luckily they have nobody to put it on, but they do get to draw one though on the villain side. Right, and they get the freaking Play, destroy one other villain minion. Now, if they can't do it, I'm just going to say they can't play it because there are no villain units. That's the cost to play. No, but it doesn't say cost, though. It just says play, destroy one other villain minion. All right, though, I hate to do this, and there's no fact, it seems. Okay, play. Card text is resolved immediately after the... The, the minion is played if it can't be resolved the minion still can be played yeah that's crap all right so they don't have to destroy another one they come in for five i've only got three life son of a freaking all right well yeah there's definitely replayability in the game um yep i got smoked 16 to zero 16 to negative two and i'll come back for another day to try to beat this Second part of this, Cullen's Tantrum. All right, for your games, like, comment, subscribe. Two spots.